Hey everybody, welcome to my channel Learn English with Harsha. So this session is all about vocabulary words. So today I have 15 vocabulary words for you. As vocabulary is very important for our communication skills, so these are some trending words that you should know. Start using these words in a daily conversation and if you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, our first word is rescue. So if you rescue someone, you get them out of a dangerous situation or to save someone from a dangerous situation. For example, many people were rescued from a burning house or poor weather conditions were making it difficult for a rescue team to save the boy from drowning. All right, the next word is condolence. When you express your condolence to someone, you express your sympathy for them because someone close to that person has died recently. For example, he sent a condolence message with the flowers by saying, my condolence is with the family who just lost his child. Or when the soldier died, his wife received a call of condolence from the prime minister. All right, the next one is binge. If someone binges, they do too much of something or to indulge in an activity such as eating, drinking, watching. For example, if I continue to binge on junk food, I will become fat. Similarly, binge watching means to watch multiple episodes of a television series or program one after the other. For example, I binge watched many web series during lockdown. Alright, the next one is gobsmacked, which means extremely surprised. For example, I was left gobsmacked when I found my room messy. Or, he was completely gobsmacked when he got 95% marks in board exams. Alright, the next one is flaunt. Flaunt means to show off or to show something that you are proud of because you want people to praise you. For example, Sam is rich but he doesn't like to flaunt his wealth or she flaunts her expensive jewelry and clothes to her friends. Moving on to the next one, scoff. Scoff means to talk about someone in a hateful and mocking way. For example, my friend scoffed at my opinion or he usually scoffs at my dress sense. Remember, the appropriate word is dress sense not dressing sense. Alright, the next one is hilarious. If something is hilarious, it is extremely funny and makes you laugh a lot. For example, my brother makes me laugh by cracking hilarious jokes. Or he always comes out with some hilarious ideas. The next one is conspiracy. It is a secret planning by a group of people to do something illegal. For example, we suspected that he was a part of conspiracy or security advisors always take care of conspiracy. The next one is demoralize. Demoralize means to make someone or something feel less confident or to make them lose hope. For example, losing many battles has completely demoralized our team or the enemy troops were exhausted and demoralized after losing the battle. The next one is elucidate. If you elucidate something, you make it clear or easy to understand. For example, the scientists have elucidated about the changes in weather conditions tomorrow. Or the tutorial is designed to elucidate the basic steps of computer programming. The next word is gratitude. So gratitude is a feeling of thankfulness towards others. For example, he expressed his gratitude to all those who had supported him. Or, my friend has supported me in my difficult times. This fills me with gratitude for him. The next one is crucial. Something that is very necessary or important. For example, it is crucial to make good business plans before we start our own business. Or, during summers, it is crucial to drink lots of water. The next one is glimpse. A glance or sight. For example, when I was in Mumbai, I caught a glimpse of the celebrity. Or people were excited to see a glimpse of the Prime Minister. 
the next one is compassion it is a feeling of sympathy kindness and willingness to help others who are suffering for example when i saw poor children on the street my heart was filled with compassion or the old people are treated with great compassion the next one is plucky someone who is brave fearless or daring for example his plucky attitude made him a great candidate for police officer training or they played a plucky game against a powerful team all right so this is the end of the lesson i hope you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel thank you for watching have a great day